Padua College, an independent Catholic school in Melbourne's outer suburbs, students are back in the classroom after two tough years. I didn't really get to see most people over COVID, which really sucked. One in five kids are now estimated to be suffering psychological stress. And at this school, it's being tackled head on. The prevalence is quite high and all young people that experience psychological distress or any mental health issues do need to seek support. Grab a box, we're going to have to put them together. Today, student leaders in Year 9 are being armed with the tools to know when and how to get help for themselves or a mate. They're also making coping boxes to reach into when times are tough. So we've got little Play-Doh, we've got candle, stress ball, slinky. If you want something soft, we've got little pom-poms. The students' work is part of an Australian first university study. The class is led not by teachers, but Monash University mental health experts. I've put my family's name, I've put my siblings, I've put my mum there. I just put things that like are really special to me. The box is like for when, I don't know, you're stressed or you just need to get your mind off something. Today's class is all about resilience and coping. I've been trying to be open and learn instead of just always staying angry at myself if I don't do something right. Thank you so much for sharing your lessons yeah. learned from today. Alexandra Marinucci is running this study for her PhD with supervisor Dr Christine Grove. She hopes the 10-week course will empower students. How to look after their own mental health and appropriate coping strategies with accurate mental health information. So where to get help if they need help. With bad news like deadly floods and war, <laughs> closely following COVID, Dr Grove warns threats are mounting. Often what we see parents might do is try and avoid those conversations and think actually not talking about it or just leaving it might be helpful. But we know that the unspoken word on these, these topics um, can be more damaging or more harmful for young people because they often will fill in the gaps or go online to find you know, answers and often that's inaccurate information. Violence in news coverage and on social media can be particularly damaging to young people. So Dr Grover recommends parents break the news. The Parenting Research Centre is fantastic. Um, if you just Google that, they have brilliant resources that are all evidence-based that they can access and use um, online to help have these conversations. They also have direct sentences that you can say if you sort of get tongue twisted. 13-year-old Zali Lawrence reckons we can all do more to tackle the stigma around mental health. It can definitely be more challenging to find someone to talk to and be open with. Zali sought help two years ago as she was making the transition to high school. I guess I had just had a couple of friendship issues where people were talking about me in not very nice ways and a picture of me had kind of been spread around. Today, Zali enjoys her interests again and plays representative as well as club netball. She credits monthly therapy with a psychologist and the mental health literacy program. I noticed my mood feel a lot happier. I wasn't as down and upset and I was just feeling a lot better overall. Why isn't it a positive thing? Back at Padua College, in their 10-week mental health literacy course, the students are reminded just how resilient they've proven during the pandemic. You can tell yourself that there's always another way to finish it and keep trying. Amazing. Things will get OK in the end. If the results of this study are positive, the researchers hope governments will see the value in giving all Australian kids a coping toolbox of their own. It's shocking that we don't have this embedded in our curriculum nationally um, or even as a program across schools across Australia. Um, it definitely needs to be a priority coming out of the pandemic. And the resource for parents mentioned in that story is the Parenting Research Centre. You can find it online as well as the Raising Children website which it helped develop.